friend, there's something going on and people all over the world are beginning to sense this. They're waking up. And I wonder if you've begun to feel this too. Let me know in the comments down below as we seek to unpack this together and find out what's really going on. Come on, let's kick on into it. Well, hello there, you gorgeous soul, you glorious ray of light, you heavenly being, here with a purpose, with a mission to fulfill. That is your destiny. That is the dream inside of your heart. When you reach that dream, and you will, there will be another dream there waiting for you to pick up and to run with. And in the unfolding of the journey of manifesting that dream, you will be equipped by all of the things you have been through in this season. See, that's what takes you to the next level. It's learning the lessons well of the season of life we find ourselves in. Friend, I'm Ben. Welcome to Elevate. I'm here every day encouraging you in these ways, showing you where to come up higher. We love talking about spirituality, the law of attraction. We love talking about brain sciences, counseling. It's all here, friend. So join this community. I would love to welcome you. Make sure that you reach out, say hi down below so we can connect too. But friend, this is a short message and a little bit esoteric. But people all over the world have begun to sense what I want to describe to you today, what I want to unpack with you, because you don't know what you don't know. And sometimes it's only the light of awareness that brings a knowingness to us. And when we come into that awareness, that revelationary knowledge, when we light a match in a dark place and we actually become consciously aware of something, we recognize it has resonated with us all of this time. We recognize, I kind of always knew this. That's, that's what that feeling was. And in that moment, there is a connection in the duality that we live in. We live in duality. There is the human and there is the spirit. We confuse the dynamics of this relationship. We say that we are a human who has these spiritual experiences, but we are not that. We are the spirit and the experiences we are having are human ones. See, your spirit, your spirit is a unique and individualized portion of the divine. That's what it is. And it desires certain experiences. Those experiences can only be had through human form. If you want to go to the beach and to swim in the salt water and lie in the sand, you need to get to the beach to have that experience. So you'll probably get into a car and start driving. But in the same way, your spirit wants experiences and the human is the vehicle in which to have them. Your spirit can't hold another. Your spirit can't embrace someone and feel the sensation of love unless it's having the human experience. Your spirit can't live a life with dreams fulfilled, whether that relates to families or careers or material objects or healings or missions or ministries, the experience is the human. For so many of us, there is a pulling on the inside. And this is what I want to talk with you about today. Have you noticed it? Have you sensed the pulling within? Because people all over the world are beginning to wake up. And they're recognizing there's something inside of them that keeps drawing them away from the nonsense and the white noise of the human's involvement in life. When everyone is standing at the water cooler in the office and they're poo-pooing their colleagues behind their back and they're rumoring and gossiping, there's something inside of you that just doesn't resonate with that, isn't there? Now, I know sometimes we partake in those activities as well. But like I said, you don't know what you don't know until you know. And when you know, you recognize, oh, that's what that was all about. See, this is a season in time where it's not enough just to know. This is a season in time where you must know how to move forward. You must know what to do. It's not enough to know, oh, that's what that feeling's about. What you are experiencing is the awakening of your spirit. It is the separation between spirit and self and the separation of spirit and self. It has to happen. Why? Because for your human to get to that experience you call a dream, 
It needs the direction and instruction and guidance of your spirit. And until we recognize that and put the spirit in first place, the human will always be dancing in the spotlight and acting a fool. It won't ever get us there. And this is why sometimes we feel so distant and separate from our dreams. The dreams we want the most, we feel the most removed from. Why? Because we try to get there in the flesh. What you are sensing on the inside is your spirit awakening. It's saying, hey, listen, don't forget about me. I've got the map. Pay attention to me. The place where you put your attention is the place where you send your energy. Where your attention goes, all of your power flows. Now, you've heard me tell you time and time again that the things you focus on, you expand. When you focus on the human by way of focusing on the fears of the human, the anxieties of the human, the things that get you down, the depression, the things that aren't working out, when you focus on those weighty 3D reality type things, you simply expand them. You are sending your attention, your energy, and you focus there, and what you focus on, you expand. It's time to be a diligent gatekeeper of the energy flowing through our lives. And we do that by honoring our spirit and putting it first. The spirit is not a loud, obnoxious, rambunctious bully like the human can be. The human controls and manipulates its way into things all of the time. The spirit is not like that. It's soft and it's gentle. It's loving and it's peaceful. It's a knowingness within, not a booming voice from without. It's a gentle nudging, a prompting and a leading that happens time and time and time again and it is so patient. As that begins to expand, put your attention on that. Put your focus on the feeling inside. Put your attention on your heart and expand your spirit. Allow it to lead you. Don't question it. Throw yourself into the great unknown and allow the expansion of your spirit to move heaven and earth. Your time is now. It's time to move forward, friend. Now, I love you. I pray that this has encouraged you today. I hope that it's given you pause to reflect on what you do inside of yourself and that you can actually tune in to the nudgings and the knowingness inside rather than being beaten up by what's happening in the head. Friend, I love you. I'm thankful for you. God bless you.